We're now joined on the sports mix by interim head coach of the Spring Mills, Cardinals Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team continues to dominate another win last week, a 54-6 final score against North Hagerstown. Let's just recap that game and what were your takeaways? The way the boys executed, you know, every week you go into this thing and, and you put together a game plan and, and you're joking around, you got to hope you get the majority of it now. But they, our boys went in focus, um, they paid attention to small details, made the correct adjustments, and then as a result, we were able able to move the ball the way the way we thought we could. Um, defensively, as always, Coach Hudson um, has those boards really on point um, as far as just being physical and swarming to the ball. So it's, it's definitely a good thing to see. Your team now sitting at 4-1 and one so far this year. I really have seen like the experience for your what was once a young program is young no more, and the experience is stumped up and really shown this year. What is that just a testament about your program? Well, their commitment to the weight room. I think everything we we kind of led up to this point has been um, the, well, those at the time young guys. Their commitment staying in the weight room, staying positive, staying upbeat, and then really just just locking in and trying to learn as much as we can. Um, I mean, obviously that was one of the first things we saw when we got here was trying to increase our football IQ, but at the same time change that culture in the weight room. This week, you guys get to take on the Washington Patriots, a team young and upcoming, kind of like what you guys were a few years ago. What have you seen from them so far on Phil? Well, defensively, I think they do a good job of getting to the ball. Um, they're definitely on a team that, that will bring up quite a bit of pressure, so it'll be important for our guys to um, have a plan of attack before the ball snap. Um, offensively, it's a nice change for those guys. They're, they're more of a spread team. They want to get it out a little bit. And um, joking around, um, their their offense is, is borderly similar to what we do um, offensively as well. So um, they'll definitely be a great opponent. Um, they're definitely more physical than what they've been in the past. So it'll be a good, another good test to see where our boys are. What's your team need to do to get the win? Stay focused. Take every play serious. Um, and again, I think the biggest thing is always is being consistent, trying to get 11 guys to do the same thing do the right thing every single play. It's been a few years since your program reached the five-win mark with a win on Friday that would already be accomplished just over halfway through the season. Just talk about how much that means to the school. I think it means quite a good deal. And, again, I always go back to the, to the seniors that we have, uh, being freshmen, sophomores, um, out there playing with older kids. It's a congestion to those guys sticking to uh, sticking to the plan, sticking to the program. Um, and I think for our community and themselves, um, it's, it's been kind of nice to kind of to give back to them a little bit and show them, put out a product out there that they're really proud of. Anything else, Coach? That's it. All right, thank you. Appreciate the time and good luck.